baptized. I am being baptized out of obedience to God's calling. This past winter, during my quiet time, the Lord laid it on my heart that I needed to be baptized again. At first, I wrestled with God because I had been baptized in the seventh grade by sprinkling with water at my confirmation. And in my early 30s, I had accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I had repented of my sins. But the Lord kept asking me, Do you love me, Terry? My reply was always, Yes, I love you, Lord. And he would answer, Proclaim me. I finally came to understand that at my baptism in the seventh grade, I had professed Jesus outwardly, but I didn't possess him inwardly. I knew of Jesus, but I didn't know Jesus. And God tells us in Mark 16, 16, believe and be saved. <laughs> believe and be baptized. Excuse me. So I stand before you proclaiming my faith in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, who by his sacrificial death on the cross of Calvary paid the penalty for my sins. He rose again from the grave, conquering sin and death, and he now sits at the right hand of God the Father from where he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2, verse 20. I desire the faith of my five-year-old granddaughter, who approaches complete strangers without any reservation. And she asks two simple but profound questions. Do you know Jesus? And then she follows with, do you love Jesus? It is my prayer that the Lord would help me to be bold in proclaiming his love to others and that he would grant me the grace to stand firm in my faith. Thank you.